Hi everybody, it's Jeff. I'm going to do quite a big update today. Um, I was going to do it yesterday, but uh, I'll tell you in a moment what happened. It was a very busy day, and as I say, started, if you saw on the group or on the Facebook page yesterday, I was at the Solihull Hospital at half eight. Uh, Dan gave me a lift there, and that was for the cardiac rehab. So it was an early start for that. Uh, we had to leave before eight o'clock. And then it was just non-stop because uh, a little bit later that morning, I went to uh, the QE for the big six week checkup. It was just over six weeks from the operation. And uh, got a, a, a couple of silly things happened. I'll tell you about those in a moment. Um, but uh, went to the the QE and I'll say I'm quite impressed. I say I went in and uh, just to reception. They told me to go sit there. A few minutes later, I got called into one room and somebody uh, took my weight, uh, blood pressure test, and had had that at uh, Solihull in the morning. Um, but the machine wasn't working, so they had to do it the old-fashioned way uh, with a stethoscope and a little pump to uh, pump the uh, armband up. Uh, but, yeah, so at the QE, they took the weight, blood pressure, and then went for an ECG, and then should have met Mr Ashub, the surgeon, the consultant, who was going to give me the final check-over. Uh, but when I got there, uh, he'd been rushed away on an emergency, obviously somebody with a dicky ticker, and I uh, met Louise, who was one of the nurses who was on the multidiscipline team. And she went through loads of checks with me, said I would be having an x-ray, but they, they do that afterwards now, so you don't have to sit around waiting more about that later and so we had a good chat there a lot of the questions were what were asked at the cardiac uh, clinic in the morning uh, about what mental state uh, what we eat and they decided I eat healthily so hopefully I'm on the right track there and uh, and then she did some checks on the sternum and thankfully she, she was happy with how the sternum's repairing on a manual check, uh, but the, the x-ray is gonna be obviously the big check. And then uh, I had a load of questions prepared that I was gonna ask when I saw Mr. Ashub, but I didn't actually write them down. And here's a little tip. If you go into a meeting or anything, or you've got anything you need to remember, write them down. I didn't and one of the big questions was can I drive now and I forgot to ask it uh, but a little bit more about that in a moment so yeah so she checked everything had a good chat and quite happy with the progress looked at the pills and potions unfortunately I got to keep all the pills uh, there's one I might be able to knock off in about 12 months time but that'll have to be uh, checked with the doctor so it looks like I'm a pills and potion taker for the rest of my life now. So I might not be able to donate blood ever again. But anyway, so uh, she went through all of that. Uh, Diane took me there because obviously I hadn't had the clearance to drive. And then on the way home, about three quarters of the way home, I suddenly realised a couple of things. Uh, one, I hadn't had the chest x-ray. Uh, so apparently I think I should have, uh, when I'd left Louise, I should have gone back to reception. And when I went to the reception, there was nobody there. So I left a questionnaire they'd give me. I left that on the desk and then just went to Diane and we went home. And like I said, then I realised I hadn't had the chest x-ray. And I thought, hmm, I think I better ring up about this. So I rang the hospital and they said, oh, leave it with us. We'll get back to you. And about half an hour or so later, uh, Louise rang and we came to the conclusion that uh, it was probably easier if we went back up to the hospital 
and had it done then. As you said, we've been booked in. And then, thankfully, I remembered that big question, can I drive? And uh, luckily, she said yes. Uh, I'll say so I can drive locally, not big, big drives at the moment. And so straight away, I said, right, I'm on my way. So I went back up. I'd got the uh, x-ray, did have to wait a bit because I had to get to the back of the queue then. So I've had the x-ray and hopefully, uh, when they get that, the results should be all right. Hopefully not get a phone call from that. And then uh, that's it. And the reason I went after Louise, she said, well, basically, we can discharge you now. So I'm just in the hands of the cardiac rehabilitation team. If you've seen the previous live... And obviously I'll go in there next week and then a few appointments and move to the next level. So I think it was about, uh, by the time I'd had the x-ray, it was getting on for quarter to seven, half six, quarter to seven, I was on the way home. And But because I'd had the clearance to drive, I decided it was a good time to put the rest of my catalogues out. So uh, I went round to a few customers put the catalogues out had a good chat with some of them and then had to get back home quick for a, a business zoom call and uh and that's why i didn't do the live yesterday so i'm doing a, a long live now i've actually made some notes so uh what i've done today because obviously now i'm going to get back to to work and doing things so i'm not going to have time for all the big long walks so you won't get many strava walks now so death by strava has finished so you get some updates when anything comes on update wise and as for the the website uh for the cardiac rehab i've put another tab on the website and that goes to the cardiac rehab page where i'll put all the details facebook lives and information about that obviously it's helpful for people who've got to have the operation and remember, I say on on the uh, Facebook group and friends, we got people from New Zealand, America, uh, South Africa, Norway, and each country does it differently. And I say everybody is different. Um, I say fitness wise, smoking wise. So it's not going to be the same for everybody, but it gives you an idea. And what I've done today is basically I've come, realised that uh, about eight weeks ago, before I went into hospital, I cleaned the car inside out and had it washed so it was spotless. And then it hasn't moved for six weeks. But in the meantime, we had all that uh, sand from the Sahara and the rain, or was it the chemtrails? But it was sand from the Sahara, made the car filthy. So today... As a celebration of being able to drive again after sort of six weeks, seven weeks, I've been had the car washed and then I've come down to uh, take a few photos and I will show the photos of the turtles or the terrapins. Uh, first time I've seen them down at this lake. And so on this Facebook update, I'll put the photos and on the website, I'll upload them there. And as I was setting up for this live, the bloody heron landed and I missed it. So it's so on an island in the middle of this lake, so I missed the heron. So basically that's it. I say as for all my customers, my Viva MK customers, catalogue customers, um, over the next few weeks you'll all be getting the, the new catalogues. Uh, the first hundred are out there, so some of you have got them. And uh, it'll be nice seeing you all again. Like I said, last night I had a chat to uh, a few people and it's nice that they're waiting at the door for a chat. And the, the nice thing about it is everybody says, I look really well. So that's a, a good sign. And basically it's a good sign for the surgeon and his team um, for the work they did and the hospital for looking after us. And now it's down to me not to overdo it. And I think it's every customer, every friend, every relation knows what I'm like. I overdo things and I'm going to carry on now as the um, nurses, the doctors 
tell me to and I'm going to take it a bit at a time and they stay, say it's at least another month before that sternum uh, chest bone is fully healed so I've got to be very careful lifting things and so and for people who've had it done one of the things I've come up with is stop think and then loop for a way around it stop and think what I'm going to do is it too heavy is it too strenuous think of another way of doing it and do things with two hands not one hand so I think really that's I'm gonna have a look at my list here so yesterday long day yes I messed up I own up to my mistakes and I was just so excited to have the clearance I rushed off without the x-ray um, come back ask about driving then Beaver MK zoom food so so that's it so I'm fully back to life now I can drive and I'm gonna have a finish walking around the lake see if I get some photos and I'll upload any that I do and that's it and then it's time for food and my last day of rest and then I start picking catalogues tomorrow and Friday and back to normal routine so uh, so yeah it's been a, an interesting couple of months but things are going to get back to normal now and uh, I'll hopefully see you all soon okay that's it bye now